There you go. So it's Are speeding. Yes, speed. Mm -hmm. All right. For the transcriptionist, will you please state and spell your name? My name is John McLean, and it is J O H N, first name, last name, M double C L A I N. Awesome. Now, introduce yourself to the audience and tell us real briefly what you do. My name is John McLean, and I am director of distribution channels for Enron. Okay, uh, confusion there. Um, I'm not director of distribution channels for all of Enron, but just Enron Communications. You don't want me to mention communications any hey, time. What's that? Channels after channels. How about can I do I even refer to communications group or anything yeah. like that? Yeah, they know okay. they know they're seeing a presentation about communications. Okay. My name is John McLean and I am the director of our communications group distribution channels. All right. Tell me uh, where'd you, where'd you do, go to school? do it one more time for me, Ben. Type up the camera. I'm sorry. Anytime. Oh. My name is John McLean and I am the director of distribution channels for our communications group. And where'd you go to school? I went to Bel Air High School. I am a high school graduate. Good. Cool. That's very cool. Um, how did you get into this industry? I, how did I get into this industry? I started hawking computers for a small systems integrator computer manufacturer in 1991. And then what did you do? Worked for Compaq after that. Was very successful selling for that company. And then I went to work for Compaq Computer Corporation. Uh, selling PCs. Uh, that evolved into working for Metropolitan Fiber Systems, which was about a $10 billion acquisition of WorldCom. Uh, worked for them for three and a half years, a very pivotal player in the telecom internet space. And uh, then worked for a company called Digex, who's a nationwide large internet service provider. Well, and now I'm here. And what made you come uh, exciting opportunity, streaming video, video, next wave of the internet, uh, absolutely, you know, a progressive data communications network. And what can you do to help? Uh, I have a very good working knowledge of the internet service provider landscape, who the players are. Uh, I have a book full of contacts and people that I know in that industry uh, and am able to sort of do what might group does, and that's build a distribution channel, uh, do business arrangements and contracting. So, so when you were thinking about making a career switch, what was it about Enron that pulled you the door? You need capital to get into this business. Enron has capital. Uh, you need a good mix of experience and entrepreneurial spirit, and uh, we have all those components, ingredients, etc. So, pretty cool. So when you look around here, what do you see? I'm not sure how to answer that quite. I mean, do you see people that are the best and brightest? Do you see? Oh, look, yeah, yeah, okay. It was just such a broad question. I see a company that is absolutely devoted to uh, making a television quality internet experience work. Uh, I see a very devoted team of individuals to. Um, really help the internet evolve and also uh, a, a, a good smart team of people trying to create a liquid market for bandwidth and, and bandwidth trading and market trading. And, um, it's, it's very, very exciting. It's very compelling. When you look back on your career, what are you going to say your, your, your time here did? I mean, are you going to be able to say, hey, I changed an industry? Yes, absolutely. I mean, it's not over with. Uh, my tenure at the company is not over with at all, so it's hard. Someday when I look back, I'll be able to say blah. Yeah, if I could characterize 1999, uh, one of the great things I would say is we, uh, my team and I uh, pioneered a space that uh, had not yet been uh, really established, meaning distribution partnerships with ISPs. Nobody else in the industry is setting up this type of uh, business and engineering relationship and we took something from ground zero and turned it into a channel that's you know an integral part of the company so um, and and not only that I'm also working with and involved with an entire team of individuals who have also set up some really compelling components for the company so so how does it make you feel? Uh, great I feel good it's almost Christmas time and uh, you know it's been a very good year. And what, now what about it do you like? What makes you get out of bed in the morning and get over here? 
You personally. Yeah. Uh, my favorite thing is mentoring my people, uh, engaging customers, watching uh, deals be facilitated and, uh, and uh, taken from their infancy all the way through the, you know, the consummation of the deal. Uh, and watching people do those deals and get excited about finishing those deals. And um, that's my favorite thing to do, w working with my team. You find it fun? Uh, absolutely. It's a blast. Um, let's see. What, what is your just real briefly, what would you, how would you tell me your, what your current responsibilities are? Yeah, um, I, the distribution channel goes after all internet service providers in the United States and the world, so to speak, uh, to connect so that we can distribute our content, our streaming media, so to speak, to their subscriber base, to their customer base. Uh, we go we go prospect those deals, prospect those companies, find them, uh, develop the right deals for the company, and then once they're closed, we manage the relationship after the fact and try to uh, establish marketing relationships and marketing programs that work that help uh, drive usage of our product uh, through that channel and uh, create value and revenues for Enron. So what's your typical day? A uh, typical day can be uh, multiple phone calls from my people, always trying to facilitate uh, some issue or another. Uh, I spend a good deal of time with the legal team uh, working on contracts. Uh, I do manage up every once in a while in the sense that I need to talk to my superiors and relate to them uh, what's happening internally. Uh, I spend a good deal of time on the phone with either current distributors or current prospects. Uh, talking through issues either related to the relationship or the contract that we're working itself. And, and I spend a good deal of time with my assistant, Crystal, and uh, travel. Uh, you, you say a typical day. Actually, a typical month probably involves five to ten travel days. So it's a little bit of everything. So what have you accomplished recently? Uh, lately, that's an excellent question. What have we accomplished? Uh, we closed three deals last month, and one of the more significant deals is we closed a memorandum of understanding with uh, one of the regional bell operating companies, one of the now only four regional bell operating companies, and we're working through uh, the definitive agreement with them and with uh, GTE. So we've got some really big deals on our plate, and we're pumped about getting them closed before the end of the year. So what, what are you doing for uh, these two? What are you specifically doing? Uh, mostly it's, uh, it's negotiating fine points of the deal. Uh, the, intent to do, the intent to do the deal uh, on, with both entities is absolutely there and uh, I would say I have 100% confidence that uh, getting the deal done, uh, it, it's not like we're having to sell the concept or there's any selling left to do, uh, but there is a lot of negotiation on the fine points of the deal so, um, and that's time consuming. What will Enron do for these companies? What will Enron do for GTE? Yes, uh, for GTE specifically, um, we are giving them a what's called our AFTS service, and that's an OC48, which is just another term for a big pipe of bandwidth from Salt Lake City to Seattle. And in return, they are giving us about 80 to 90 percent of their domestic customer base for distribution. So we connect to them at these distribution connection points in multiple places in the United States. So we're swapping. We're swapping something. So, uh, so what are you swapping and, who's, and, and what's the end result? Yeah, well, we're, we're swapping the service. We're giving away uh, capacity on our fiber and what we're getting back in return is all of their customer base, which is one of the top five customer bases for internet, internet subscribers uh, in the United States. They're giving us their customer base who essentially are clickers on content that we contract. So, so the, the benefit to Enron is now you've got all these eyeballs, these, these clickers, now you go to your content people and say, hey, you can get this to them. Is that, is that how it works? I mean, what's the benefit? Of you've got it nailed. Um, they, we are g giving desktops, clickers, to our content providers and it creates a... Can you make that transition say, this enables us to... Right. Um, what this lets us do is... Yeah. 
You know, the thing I've struggled with most is about half the time I'm, I'm like doing the interview. Th I'm answering the question as I think you want to hear it instead of just really answering yeah, just it. it. Um, the uh, GTE's customer base is very desirable uh, to anybody that has content on the World Wide Web. So essentially, our customers, content providers, are now, now able to access these subscribers via our direct connect model so it's it's beautiful it's it's the best possible scenario we could have one of the top internet service providers in the world we have their subscriber base so that that's what we're offering to any one of our content customers awesome now what about what about the southwestern bell what are you giving them? uh southwestern bell is essentially the same thing um they have uh actually we are not doing a deal with Southwestern Bell. It's with Bell South. <laughs> no, no. Well, it took it took me it took me time too. Um, hey, one thing I want to uh, ask. This is never getting outside, right? Because this has to stay internal. Oh, uh, Oh, I mean, that's bad. Um, if Bell South, well, I don't. We might close it before right, right. then. Um, I mean, if it's before the analyst conference, if. If Bell South, you could announce GTE. I would not feel comfortable having an analyst take Bell South out on this date, and I cannot tell you if we'll finish that agreement by then. Can we go ahead and record it, and if we don't, we won't use it. Yeah, yeah just sure. make sure you call me. Oh, we'll know. We'll, we'll know. Call you. Tape. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So what are we doing for Bell South? Yeah, what we're doing for Bell South is actually. Uh, the GTE agreement was a, a, a deviation or a variation of our uh, standard content distributor agreement. The Bell South agreement is more our standard contract where we pay them a revenue share component and we get to interconnect in all of their, in all of their, uh, God, I can't get that coming. Um, I need to start over. I, want, I was about to say lattice and all these terms that nobody <laughs> understands. Um, the deal with Bell South is we get to access their entire customer base, or at least that's what we're proposing. Um, they, in turn, get a revenue share component of all the content that we distribute through their network to their subscriber base. To their subscriber base. So, in essence, uh, we would connect in any given Atlanta and Charlotte and Miami and Orlando, et cetera, et cetera, and their clickers, their eyeballs, their DSL customers, their business customers. Uh, would be able to click on content we contracted out on the World Wide Web. The only difference is uh, the GTE really is we're not giving Bell South uh, capacity on our network. We're actually paying them a revenue share component. With GTE, we're not giving them that revenue share. So who are your customers? Who is the company's customers? Enron's customers? Uh, Enron's customers are content providers, at least for ePowered MediaCast. Um, any given financial news company that's propagating content on the World Wide Web, any consumer-oriented content company, any Hollywood-oriented company that's putting content on the web, uh, historical broadcasters uh, that have been uh, propagating content on television for 40, 50 years, anybody that's putting content on the World Wide Web, that's our customer base. So they... Change the 